University of California system is supporting a bill written by California State Senator Lois Wolk. What's it all about? Well, Senate Bill 1006 is one of many pending in the state legislature right now. This one seeks out to study firearm violence. But take a listen to one of the first thing that the bill states, and I quote, firearm violence poses a significant public health and public safety threat in California and nationwide. So before the study is even conducted, it seems as though they've already made their own conclusion. They're starting off with their agenda right off the bat. An agenda that Jason Davis, an attorney in Southern California, says essentially impacts each and every one of us. They're taking our tax revenue and our resources to support their cause. We reached out to the University of California Systems Communications Department for a comment, and we didn't receive an answer. It was the same case at UCSD and UC Riverside. And I reached out to Senator Woke's office three weeks ago, also asking for a comment. I never received an answer. There's no specific protections in there to ensure that the uh, research that is done is done in a way that is truthful. Again, since we couldn't get a hold of anyone, we can't specify exactly how they're conducting their research. But let's take a look at another study. This one was done by the Centers for Control and Disease Prevention after Sandy Hook took place. Interestingly enough, the results never concluded that firearms or any type of gun control for that matter, such as gun-free zones, actually decreased any crime at all. In fact, the study says whether gun restrictions reduce firearm-related violence is an unresolved issue. I'm saying there are gunshots in the hallway. I'm a teacher in the school. She's been shot once in the foot. She's been shot once in the foot. Victims in the building. How many? Two down. We believe there is a shooting going on at that school. It is in lockdown. Is there anybody that can lock the classroom door without being safe? No. Case in point, the man responsible for those awful 26 murders, 20 of which were innocent children, intentionally brought firearms to the school with an intent to kill. So what makes some lawmakers think that he would actually follow other laws? Of course he didn't care about abiding by the school's gun-free zone. Why would any criminal care? They treat it as though firearms are the cause of homicides and suicides, when really what they should be looking at is the mental health issues when it comes to the suicide. It's true. Even the study itself states that homicides are decreasing, but that suicide rates are happening more and more. But is that a firearm-related issue, or as Davis brought up, really about mental health? While the root of the problem may even start at home for kids at a young age, how they're raised, what medications they're given, the list goes on. But for some reason, guns are always to blame. Biggest threat to America today, and I think it's the biggest threat we've had to America in the past 50 years. And Davis reminds us that these strict bills and even laws here in California aren't just a golden state problem. In fact, if we don't take action or voice our concerns, these laws can be made at the federal level. So stay informed with what's going on and keep an open dialogue with your local representatives. If we all come together, there's a better chance of us keeping our freedoms. And as for lawmakers, if you want to pass laws, can we please get to the root of the mental health crisis here in the United States instead of just turning a blind eye?